Hi everyone, today I want to share with you this quick and easy paintbrush cleaning jar. This is going to be great for those who work with art brushes and those small detailing art brushes. So what you're going to need is one small empty jar. This I got from Velastic. It had pickles in it. Clean that up and this is like about six inches high by three inches wide. And then you're going to need a scrub sponge. This I got at the dollar store. And uh, you want to get the sponges that are about an inch thick. Anything bigger, it's just going to absorb um, either the acetone or water, whatever you're going to be using. It's going to soak it right up, and it's best to have a, a small thick one, a small inch one. So, and then lastly, you'll need some scissors. So, um, you pretty much just estimate how much you need to cut from the sponge and place it in your jar as you can see one side you need to leave it a little bit more a little bit more spacious and there's more space up there to place the second part of the sponge and then with this sponge you're going to place it vertically inside the jar and you'll see why here in a second why um, we're going to place it vertically. So, and that's all. There it is. It's going to look like that. And then you're pretty much done with making the jar. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you a demonstration. I got two paint brushes, detailing art brush, thin one and a square one. And I'm going to show you how I clean my art brushes. You want to grab um, your acetone. And acetone will be perfectly fine if you use acrylic uh, paints. You want to put, let's see, about a quarter of a cup to half a cup of acetone. And you just simply, I'm going to start with a flat brush, and simply let it soak. Go off to the side here and dip it. For about 10, 15 seconds. And then just start swiping the brush back and forth. Now I recommend you not to leave your brushes in there soaking. Don't let them stand there for more than a minute. You don't want to get the acetone stuck into the the ferrule here and get trapped and it's gonna just break down your brush and even cause it to rust too. So don't leave your brush soaking in there. Um, so I'm just gonna keep repeating, swiping back and forth until it is clean. Now, um, some paints will stain your brush, but that doesn't mean your brush is not cleaned. So, just keep doing until you feel it's cleaned enough. And here on the top, I'm just going to swipe off the excess, excess. And there's your brush. You can tell the blue paint kind of, the uh, acrylic paint kind of stained it, but you can, if you feel like you want to uh, repeat it again, go ahead. Right. And put it back into the shape. And that's pretty much clean. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now with the vertical sponge how you can clean your thin um, brushes and just like before you just let this soak for a good 10 to 15 seconds and then tilt it to the side and then just simply Swipe, and I'm turning as I go to wipe the, the paint off 
the brush. Oops, sorry, getting out of focus here. And dipping it in a little bit more. But that is why um, you're using the vertical brush. It's a lot easier. Um, if you didn't have this vertical brush, you'd be definitely bending your paintbrush and also causing the bristles to spread apart and not keep its shape. So that's why I like having this side sponge to help for the brushes like these. So I'm going to take off the excess and that's that is it. It is nice and clean. And the good thing about pure acetone, it dries pretty fast, so you can automatically use these for your nail art. All you need to do is get your lid, close it back up nice and tight. So your um, acetone, if you're using acetone, it will not uh, evaporate. And that is it. That is your paintbrush cleaning jar. I hope you like that. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. I think I'm going to decorate the top jar here and put something on it to give it a nice girly touch. But I hope you guys are doing good. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.